grass seeds and having a lovely time doing it, nibbling away. That's nice. Not often we get squirrels to sit still for this long. That is a second squirrel behind it, isn't it? Or is that... There's a second squirrel. That so means there were three gathered there. I think that is a second squirrel. Either that or this one has the biggest tail and weirdest shaped tail in the world. No, that's definitely a second squirrel. So eating grass seeds while they can. Getting as much in the way of nutrients in them before our dry season approaches. Yep, definitely a second one. Actually a baby one. Not a baby baby, but a young squirrel. That's obviously still with mum and dad. Not sorry, not dad. Dad doesn't play much of a role, just mum. That's very cute. We hardly ever get to see baby squirrels. Most of the time they spend their sort of early weeks tucked away in hollows of trees. And I wonder, this is almost exactly, look it's playing about in the branches. This is almost exactly where we saw that rock monitor being attacked by a squirrel as it was crawling up a dead tree. I wonder whether this isn't the family of squirrels and perhaps that was a, a mother trying to protect her babies from a marauding rock monitor lizard. A rock monitor will most definitely eat a baby squirrel. They are ferocious predators. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Back to mum. Hello, mum. <laughs> That's definitely her baby. I think it is. It's too much of a coincidence. We're right next to where I saw it. I suspect that this is what the, this little precious bundle is what mum was trying to protect. And I remember being quite astounded at that sighting, at the fact that a squirrel would be brave enough to run up and bite a monitor lizard and scratch at a monitor lizard. They're quite fast and they have a reputation for using that tail as a whip, which you might have seen with that sighting with Kuchava hunting the monitor lizard. They're very good at it. And they're not without defences. And they've got very sharp teeth. Oh, I found it quite amazing that something... There's number two. There's two little babies here. I found it something quite amazing that something the size of a squirrel would be brave enough to tackle a, a rock monitor that was just under two metres or six feet. Oh, look at the little two of them. Grabbing with their hands and pulling the grass seeds towards them. I don't know if Taylor's squirrel challenge still stands. She challenged us to the best squirrel sighting a while back, a long time ago. It feels like a long time ago. But this is definitely one of them. They're dashing about and playing up in the branches. One is still thoroughly focused on breakfast. I don't suppose you guys have seen any leopards coming through, have you? Will you let me know if you have? Of course you will. Making that alarm call. They, when they alarm call, they sound like witches cackling. Uh, Corey, you want to know what is the oddest animal I've ever seen? Perhaps a two-headed snake? That's a very good question, Corey. I have never seen a two-headed snake. In fact, I don't think I've seen many deformed animals or, or ones with sight growth defects before. What is the oddest animal I've ever seen? I don't know. I mean, pangolin are pretty odd when you look at them. Giraffe are really weird the longer you look at them. But I don't think that's quite what you're asking. Elephants without trunks always look odd, but I'm hesitant to... Ow! 